Hey guys, it's your boy, K20 Turbo Kid. What I have here in front of me is a OEM Acura RSX K20 oil pump. Now, I did buy this one directly from a uh, dealer, but um, I figured to make this video because there's a lot of fakes being sold on eBay and on Amazon, and people just don't know any better. And you might say, hey, that looks like a good deal. I'm buying it, you know, for a hundred and whatever bucks and I'm saving, you know, 50 bucks, a hundred bucks, whatever it is you think you're saving. But in reality, you're just buying something that's counterfeit, that's a knockoff, that's probably not going to work. And even if it does, it's probably not going to last. And as soon as it goes bad, you can take out your whole engine, right? So I said, you know what, let me make this video, let me share a little bit of knowledge and at least what I've noticed, right? And everything that I'm going to mention is based off uh, me comparing my pump, which I know in fact that it is OEM, and comparing it with pictures that I found on JHP USA's website, on uh, HPT's website, which is, you know, another great website for parts. And also uh, pictures that I found from OEM Honda dealers, uh, providers online, you know, which, I mean, it gets no better than that, right? So guys, um, let's get to it. Let's, let's, let's figure this, this out together, you know, and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to post pictures so that, you know, most of the stuff that I'm going to mention, I'll add the picture to this video from these other websites and you guys are going to see like hey what this guy is saying is the truth let me look for this myself let me let me see what i got you know and yeah so one thing i say not to go off of because the fake one i don't have it here but it's going to look identical to this so one thing they did really well is copying that logo there that says yamada right so you would think hey you know it's real it's got the logo no guys it's going to have the logo. It's going to look very identical, probably about the same. You know, something could be off of it, right? Maybe maybe the spacing, you know, between the letters might be off. Maybe the the wings may be off, you know, on the on the bird there. Um the placement could be a little off. It could be anything, right? But they got it they got it really close if you look at the pictures and, you know, yeah, you can't really go off of that. Um I noticed on my pump when looking at these boats here, these uh, five boats, on my pump, this upper boat on the left, this upper boat on the right, they're silver. And then the three at the bottom, they're still silver, but they have a very light hint, at least to me, a very light hint of goldish. Not much. Not much at all. But the fake one, it's going to have all the boats in gold. For all the boats in silver, it's a possibility. But most of the time, they have them in gold. That's a clear, clear, clear sign that it's fake right off the bat. Another thing is this plug here, this Allen boat, right? So this one here on mine is silver. On the fake ones, most of the time is gold, but you might still find one where it's silver. So definitely uh, look out for that. Now let's get over to the Sharpie marks, right? You have that Sharpie mark there. All the real ones are going to have Sharpie marks. They're going to have paint marks. So we're going to get to that. It's the first one there. But guys, you also have that one here on top. See it? All right. Now let's spin the pump. Right here. Right next to the pickup tube. You have that blue paint mark. So you can go off of that. Let's uh, let's check the other side. Because this, this one here, it's... I'm doing this one-handed, but this one here is uh, really important. Another stamp in there, right? And then you have that stamp in there. Mine says MK5. Yours may or may not say the same uh, letters and numbers, but um, it'll still have a stamp in there, or at least it should. Another thing that I notice is the stamp in here. See the pickup tube? Mine has a three, it's got numbers there and letters and all that, right? So you can probably go off of that. I know that, uh, at least from what I noticed, the fake ones all have an, a one there or a, or a two. I really haven't seen one that has a three, but there may be real ones that'll still have a, a one or a two. So 
you know, you have to be cautious. You may still think it's real, but it may be fake. But yeah. But then also here, whatever number was on that other uh, section would also be here. So if you have a three, this should be a three. If you have a one, it should be a one. If it has a two, it should be a two. So, you know, I know most of this stuff, as far as uh, that stamping and the other stamping, you can't really go off of and a few things that I've mentioned. But um, if you got the real one, it should it should have, you know, everything that I'm talking about here, you know? So, yeah, guys, if you end up with a fake one, I mean, the gear here may have some play going up and down, going in and out. You don't want any of that. Uh, you can cause, you know, big issues to your engine if if your oil pump goes bad, you know. So, yeah, I mean, another thing is the box. Besides looking at the pump, look at the box. So, I know it's hard to see on my box. But it does have the label there, which, you know, part of it is covered. But that does have the part number, made in Japan, right? The fake ones might still look the same. But at least on mine, it has this barcode. When you scan that barcode, it'll take you straight to Google and it's going to show you a whole bunch of real authentic oil pumps. It takes you directly online to show you the real deal, right? Now, my box does have this label here. So, you know, that's one thing to possibly look for. The box itself, I mean, look at it. You know, it's got... Nice, uh, nice boxed up shape to it. The nice slit here for this part to, you know, go into. But more importantly, right here on the, the top uh, lid of the box, it's got letters and numbers. It says SAE320 seems to be what it says. So, you know, a lot of times on the fakes, they're not, they're not putting stuff like that on it. You know, they're not going above and beyond to do all that. You know what I mean? And, um, and yeah, one more thing, they do come in a sealed bag, just like that. So I did, uh, cut mine open just to make this video and, uh, yeah, it'll come in a sealed bag that has a little bit of, you know, lubrication on it because at the end of the day, Honda doesn't, you know, want this pump to end up rusting on you if you're not using it, you know, this is metal, you know, this part's metal, so it's bound to rust. You know what I mean? If it's out in the open and not being used or lubricated or, or anything like that, you know? But yeah, that's pretty much what I got for you guys. Um, you know, I'm sure there's a few other uh, differences that, you know, maybe I don't know about. Maybe you guys do. So if you do, um, post it in the comments. You know, let, let's, let's let people know, man, so people can uh, make good decisions and not end up being, you know, screwed over, right? It's your money it's what you're paying for you you want the real deal you don't want the fake stuff you know especially on something so critical as a oil pump you know the the heart of your motor you know what i'm saying so guys uh stay safe stay blessed stay humble i check you guys on the next one and please 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 if you enjoyed this video at least give it a like uh and subscribe to my channel man i got more content coming in in the near future thank you guys love you all later